first movement on our mass ass program, okay, is a sumo block pull, rack pull. You can do this from a rack, you can do some bumper plates like I did, whatever you want to do. Um, so the biggest thing with this setup and a lot of people screw up is they don't, they are not upright when they go down for sumo dough. So we want wide, hence sumo stance, toes slightly out, not all the way out, just a little bit out. Reach down for the bar and you want to use this. So you don't want to pull from this position. You want to use the bar to pull you into an upright position. If you could hear, as soon as I pull myself in an upright position, Kind of hear the bar click. You want to create tension before you pull. So this is our first rep here. So over here, create tension. Oh, hello there. <laughs> so we're doing a Bulgarian split squat next here, guys. So this is essentially just an elevated lunge, okay? So it's allowing you to get a little lower than you would in an actual lunge on the floor, right? So we're going into that negative lunge space. Similar to the deep back squat we did, just allowing you to get, allowing you to get super deep so you can really engage your glute muscles, all right? So whether you have a bench or a box, either one, uh, we're going back foot up on the bench. You could, up, you could either go foot down or foot up. I usually tell people whatever's more comfortable for you. I like foot down. First, got the style, so I'm here. All the way down as far as I get to the floor and back. So same idea as the deep squat, we're just up on one foot. Okay? So that would be goblet style, or in order to add a little more weight, because you're not holding it up by your chest, you're holding it kind of down by your arms. We could add two dumbbells by the side, just like two suitcases. Same thing. And that's the Bulgarian split squat. You don't have to be Bulgarian to do them. Hey guys, so I'm doing the single leg hip bridge. Two versions, first, the easy version. So, heel dug in the ground, toe is up, other leg is up, you can tuck your knee up to your chin. Try to feel into the floor. Or, harder version. Get on a bench, put your arms up, start at the bottom. Okay, this leg is still up, you're pushing through the left leg, so left heel. So, you can start off with the easy version, progress yourself to the hard version. All right, so, kettlebell swing, one of my favorite movements and a great movement for your whole posterior chain. So there's a couple ways to do it. I'm gonna show you the way that focuses more on your glutes and your hamstrings. And so, when you reach down now, you want to make sure you're reaching back, almost like a box squat. You're not overly hinging, you're not overly squatting. Push your hips back, put the bell down, hike it towards your zipper, stand tall. That's the kettlebell swing. I'm going to buy you a new meal. All right guys, reverse calgar, I mean reverse hyper extensions uh, without the actual reverse hyper extension machine. So this is how you would do it on a GHG without the actual reverse hyper machine. All right, build that ass. Mm. So I'm here where my feet can go, okay? Hold it on here, now from here. Extended, same as our uh, extensions we did before that Siobhan showed us, except the reverse, okay? Instead of lifting my upper body, I'm now lifting my lower body. And that really hurts, so I'm only gonna do one more. I think it's because I'm cold. So here, extend in, squeezing at the top, and back. Extend, squeeze at the top, and back. And that's that. <laughs>